Hey there, folks. Grab a coffee, pull up a chair, and let's chat about something that's got the tech world buzzing, the model context protocol, MCP for short. I stumbled across this gem recently, and let me tell you, it's like finding a secret shortcut that makes life with AI way more exciting. If you're wondering what MCP is, why it's a big deal, or how it might shake things up, you're in for a treat. I'm going to break it down for you like we're old friends catching up. No stiff tech talk, just real conversation with a sprinkle of my own two cents. Ready? Let's dive in. Before we delve into the details, let me introduce myself. I'm Jesse Anklin, co-founder and CEO of Rapid Innovation. My team and I have spent years pioneering advanced technologies, especially AI agents, the intelligent digital workers that are already transforming businesses worldwide. But today's conversation isn't just about technology. It's about how autonomous AI agents will redefine your future, your business, and the world around us. These aren't just tools. They're your future team members capable of making decisions, solving problems, and driving innovation 24 slash seven. If you're a business owner, entrepreneur, or simply someone who wants to harness the power of AI, stay tuned. And if you're ready to act, head over to www.rapidinnovation.io for a free AI consultation. Picture this, you've got an AI buddy, maybe it's Claude, ChatGPT, or some other clever model, and you want it to do more than just chat. You want it to peek at your Google Drive, check your Slack messages, or maybe even pull up a YouTube transcript without you lifting a finger. Sounds dreamy, right? That's where MCP comes in. It's like a universal translator for AI, an open protocol that lets these models connect to all sorts of tools and data sources without breaking a sweat. Think of it as the USB-C of the AI world. Plug it in and it just works no matter what you're connecting. Back in the day, well, okay, like a year ago, hooking up an AI to something new was a nightmare. Developers had to cobble together custom code every single time, like building a new bridge for every river they wanted to cross. It was slow, messy, and honestly, a bit of a headache. But MCP? It's like someone finally said, hey, let's build one sturdy bridge that works everywhere. Now, whether it's your calendar, a database, or even a weather app, MCP gives AI a smooth, standardized way to tap in. It's the kind of thing that makes you wonder, why didn't we do this sooner? So why should you care? Well, imagine asking your AI, hey, can you book me a flight, sync it with my calendar and email my boss about it. Without MCP, you'd be stuck juggling apps yourself, but with MCP, the AI can handle it all in one go, like a personal assistant who's got your back. It's not just convenient, it's a whole new level of magic. I mean, who doesn't want an AI that feels less like a robot and more like a sidekick? And here's the kicker, MCP is open source. That means it's not locked behind some corporate wall. It's out there for anyone to tinker with, improve, or build on. Big names like Block and Apollo are already jumping in, and tools like Zed and Replit are weaving it into their coding platforms. There's even this slick YouTube MCP server. I tried it last week, pasted a link, and bam, I had a transcript and summary in seconds. It's the kind of stuff that makes you grin and think, the future's looking pretty darn cool. All right, let's pop the hood and see what makes MCP tick. It's got this client server setup that's honestly pretty clever. You've got MCP hosts, the AI apps you're chatting with, like a desktop version of Claude or an AI power power coding tool. They're the ones hungry for data. Then there are MCP clients, the go-betweens that keep everything secure and connected. Each client links up with an MCP server, a little program that unlocks specific stuff like your files, a database, or an API. Here's how I picture it. The host is your brain dreaming up what you need. The clients, your hands reaching out safely and the servers, they're the tools. Think hammers, screwdrivers, or even a trusty calculator. MCP makes sure your hands know exactly how to grab the right tool for the job. Every time, no fumbling, no fuss. What's really neat is this thing called dynamic discovery. The AI doesn't need a manual. It just sniffs out what's available, like walking into a kitchen and instantly knowing where the snacks are. And then there's two-way communication. Unlike old school APIs that feel like a one-sided phone call, MCP keeps the line open, chatting back and forth in real time. It's perfect for stuff like live stock updates or a bot that actually listens when you talk. Plus, it uses this structured format, JSON RPC, if you're curious, that keeps everything tidy and predictable. It's like giving developers a cheat sheet to build awesome things fast. So what's in it for us? Let me lay it out. No more integration headaches. One protocol, tons of connections. It's like having a master key instead of a jangling keychain. 
lock down security, your private stuff like passwords, stay safe on the server side, and you green light every move that AI makes. Peace of mind, check, mix and match freedom, swap AI models or providers without starting over. It's like switching phone brands, but keeping your fave apps. Room to grow. The more people build MCP servers, the more toys we get to play with. It's an ecosystem that just keeps expanding live. Fresh info, real-time data means the AI's always in the know. None of that outdated nonsense. Take coding, for instance. With MCP, your AI can dive into your GitHub repo, snag files, whip up branches, or even tackle issues all from a chat window. I tried it with a side project last weekend, and it felt like having a co-founder who never sleeps. It's not just talk, it's action. Now you might be thinking, wait, don't APIs already do this? Fair question. APIs are awesome, but they've got limits. With APIs, every new service needs its own special handshake. Tedious, right? MCP says, now one handshake fits all. APIs are static. You've got to know the menu before you order. MCP lets the AI peek at the menu on the fly. And while APIs are usually a quick, here's your data buy, MCP hangs out for the full conversation. It's built for AI, not just data. And, and that's where it shines. Picture planning a trip. Old way, separate API calls for flights, calendars, emails, a logistical. With MCP, it's one seamless flow. The AI's like, got it, I'll handle everything. And you're just sipping your coffee stress-free. Let's get concrete. That YouTube server I mentioned, I used it to skim a 20 minute tech talk in two minutes, transcript, summary, even a little Q and A with the AI blew my mind. Developers are hooking MCP to GitHub letting AI fetch code or suggest fixes mid-conversation. Companies like Block are tying it to their internal systems, turning AI into a task-running wizard. And with SDKs in Python, TypeScript, Java, and Kotlin, anyone can jump in. There's already over a thousand open source servers out there. Crazy, right? Security, no worries here. Before we get too excited, let's talk safety. MCP's got your back. Your sensitive info stays locked away on the server. AI doesn't get a peek. Every action needs your thumbs up, so no rogue moves. You can set boundaries, like read O for certain files, and for big companies, it's easy to track what the AI is up to. I've messed around with it in my own setup and it feels solid like letting a friend borrow your car but keeping the keys close. My take, where's this going? Mapseeps fresh launched late 2024, but it's already turning heads. I've been scrolling X and folks are pumped. Tutorials popping up, servers being built, people calling it the USB-C for AI. I'm sold on that vibe. It's got the chops to be a standard, especially with heavy hitters like Anthropic, the MCP creators, and Apollo on board. The open source community is rallying and that's a huge sign it's got legs. Will it take over? Hard to say. It's early days and adoption's the key. Some AI giants might push their own thing and there's always growing pains with new tech. But me? I'm optimistic. Last night I was tinkering with an MCP server for my music library. Imagine an AI DJ pulling my playlists. That's the kind of future I'm rooting for. Try it yourself, fancy a go. Here's the lowdown. Hit up the MCP docs, super friendly, even if you're not a tech wizard. Check the GitHub repo. Tons of ready-made servers to play with. Join the crowd, Discord and forums are buzzing with folks happy to help. If you code, grab an SDK and build something. <laughs> I'm halfway through my own little project. It's addictive once you start wrapping up. So there you have it. MCP from the basics to the big picture with a dash of my own excitement mixed in. It's like giving AI a superpower, connecting, creating, and making our lives easier, all with a human-friendly twist. I hope this chat cleared things up and got you as fired up as I am. If you give MCP a spin, drop me a line. I'd love to hear how it goes. Thanks for hanging out with me and catch you next time for more tech adventures.